Hey, welcome to the shop. Uh, today I'm going to be making a video on uh, how to make some pens here. And uh, if you're an avid pen maker like me, you always get these cutoffs and they are just too short to make another pen out of. And it's, you know, it's a nice piece of looking wood. So we're going to see if we can uh, put those together and see if we can make a nice pen. All right, so the first thing I did is I glued four different, uh, actually three different types of wood together. I did this ivory wood. I think it's called ivory something. I can't remember the name for it. I have a list up in my room, but I forgot it. I uh, put a little bit of purple heart in there and some dark walnut in the middle and then the same pattern on the other side. So I glued those together. And the next thing I'm going to do, take it off. I'm going to sand it down to a better square on the belt sander. Next step is we're going to take our little brass tube and try to evenly put it through the wood so there isn't too much of this wood on this side or too much on this side. So we're going to place it down, make it so it's about even, make two marks on each side, and those will be our cutoff points. So now we have our piece of wood cut down to size, as you can see. We're going to get our second blank, and I'm actually not going to do this design I'm actually going to experiment with this piece of burl wood I went down my woods and cut off a burl off a tree and I got this nice looking I believe it's maple the tree I cut it down from was a maple tree a piece of maple burl wood so we'll size that up cut that down to size I mean and we'll cut that on the miter saw should be down to size as well. We'll just do a little sanding on the disc sander. That'll be just perfect. So the next thing we're gonna do is find the center of our blanks. You know, you could get technical with it and use a quick square, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. Draw an X, find the center. Then we're gonna go to our drill press and drill holes straight down through the both of them. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is Take our seven millimeter drill bit and drill a hole straight down through. I forgot to tighten my drill bit with the key with the chuck key. That's why it was spinning. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, put our brass tubes into our blanks. And I'm using super glue. I mean, you could really use whatever you want. Epoxy obviously is gonna have the strongest hold, but this is the fastest way I found out. So I like to twist it on the way down so that it evenly spreads out. There we go. Do the next one real quick. I also forgot to mention, I didn't do it on these, but they recommend that you uh, use sandpaper on these brass tubes so it has something to stick to a little bit better. But I just forgot to do it, so. I've done it with, that, with or without it. I don't think it really matters that much, but it helps. All right, now that we're all set up, we're ready to start turning. We're gonna be 
be very careful turning this one blank because wood glue isn't as, I mean, it's obviously strong, but it's gonna have a harder time gluing small pieces together. It's not gonna be nearly as strong. So now that we got our uh, blanks turned down pretty good, we got only about like a sixteenth of an inch before our bushings. So we're gonna start sanding now. Alright, uh, I finished sanding, took it down to, uh, took it up to 900 grit sandpaper, if you want to see. The design is already looking pretty cool on there. So now we're going to start staining. I'm using the Minwax Dark Walnut Finish. And we're just going to start out by just spinning that uh, headstock with our hands. And we'll just put a bunch of coats on and we should have a pretty nice looking product here when we're done all right so we finished up staining uh, as you can see it's looking pretty pretty dandy i mean that burl wood looks really cool and so does this right here so it should make a pretty nice pen last thing i the last thing i like to do is uh i like to put spray lacquer on it I, I, it's kind of my own little twist i'll spray it on there and uh let it run for a little bit while it's on there to dry it out a little bit. And it gives it a nice uh, shine. I don't want to put too much on or it'll start splashing everywhere like I kind of did. Alright, I put two coats of spray lacquer on and uh, we have a nice shine on there. Now we just gotta take it off and push our pen together. All right, so most people spend a bunch of money on pen pressers, but if you have a vise and you do it the right way, you don't need one because it's virtually the same thing. Got our pen tip on there. Push this part on. You do have to be a little bit more careful though because it doesn't line it up necessarily for you. And there's a little indent right there. That's how far you want to bring your blank to. Okay, so uh, once we push our pen together, this is what we end up with. Pretty nice looking pen. pretty cool i like it uh but anyways thanks for watching see you later